All right, I know this says shackles control, but that's because I doctored it pretty heavily. So I wanted to play some Esper control today. Pretty much just blue black ring splashing for prismatic ending. So you have one more, more one mana removal spells and Teferi, so you can bounce your ring more reliably. You have a hollowed fountain, a meticulous archive, and a Rafine's tower added to the mana base. So we have three white sources. It looks fine to me, honestly. I think a deck like this could be really good right now. I don't know about this one Murktide Regent. Maybe I want the fourth Lorien revealed over the Murktide Regent. I don't know about this one Tidebinder. Maybe I want like a Dress Down or a Brazen Borrower instead. But that's the neat part about Control. So we can customize it. But for now, I think I want to roll with this. I don't think we're going to play Basic Planes either. We get Blood Moon, we get Blood Moon. Maybe I should be playing like Celestial Purge on the sideboard to deal with Blood Moon. It's actually not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. David coming out with the hydrate and David. I don't have any water. Tough. I'll go get some in between rounds, I promise. Uh shoot. Do I wanna play Celestial Purge now? Maybe over Damnation? Nah, we'll try it like this. And rename this and then upload it. I got high hopes for you, Esper Control. Sand's bad. Sand's good. Kinda. Good enough, I suppose. I didn't even check the fetches. I hope the fetches are fine. As long as I have four polluted deltas, it should be okay. That's the most important land. Burning Catacombs, it could be Yogg with no turn one play. Probably Yogg, right? What the Yogg doing? I'm gonna play Wall of Roots, and then I got a pending it for two mana. Or I could subtlety as Wall of Roots. I subtlety it, pitching force negation. Got to hold counter spell up. That's not bad. Either way, I think I'm getting Rafine's Tower. Hey, Appleton. I could get Meticulous Archive as well. Oh shit, it's Asmo. Alright, change of plans. <clears throat> could be Asmo, it could be... Food Combo. Could be Devoted Druid. Yeah, let's get the Blue-White Surveil. Keep the Edict on top. Wow, this is really small. I'm glad that they put it in this type of a little box now. That's new. Why is the text so small? Text for ants. Maybe I'm just like going blind. Ivar. Yeah, let's force Ivar. We'll gain back all of our card advantage as soon as we find Ring. I can trade one for one for a little bit here. I'll be pretty content. Yo, Moto feels a lot faster. Daybreak? Being clutch? Well, there's the ring. I need fourth land, though. How many more Tyvars do you think they have? This is... Oh, okay, it's Grist. I'll say this is so many Tyvars. They've been Giver. Well, I can Prismatic any Grist. That's my only play. Day-based games. Continuing to do the Lord's work for Magic Online. Devoted Druid. Land for Ring would be incredible. Or removal. That's fine too, I guess. 
This is, comes at a cost of not playing any sort of cantrips, means I'm not going to be finding my lands super consistently. But I guess if all of my top decks are just fire anyways, then it's fine. Just like, finale for two. Devoted Druid. Vizier. I mean, they have a Tyvar in hand. They're just trying to combo kill me next turn. Yeah, Surveil lands are better. Okay, well. <laughs> We're continuing on the kill everything plan. Kill everything, let nothing survive. Waiting to top deck land still. Lush Portico, Bins Walking, Ballista, do they have Soul Cauldron? Hi, Bunny. Another finale. I want to spend drawing as many threats as we have been answers. Second Vizier. Alright, sacrifice a non token creature. <laughs> I'm just going to die to this insect. Oh yeah, we've been missing our fourth land drop like it's our job. Yeah, these turns are all the same. Been getting straight deja vu, although they have a 6-6 six -six now, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. We did it. We hit a land drop. Bless. It only took how many turns? I mean, I could die also. That's cool. Hopefully they don't kill me. I have no subtlety up. I got nothing. Spike lost the Calibrated Blast in the modern... Or MTGO Masters, is it called now? I keep calling it the Modern Super League. This is so many tie bars. Holy schmoly, Soul Cauldron, Soul Cauldron. This is the most redundant build of this deck I've seen yet. They could have infinite mana if they want. I can't really do anything about it. Oh, to Druid from hand. Game. I can't believe how many like must counter threats our opponent had. And they fiend artisan into what? Probably fiend artisan into Let's we'll find out. I was gonna say Duskwatch Recruiter. I did not, Foxtrap. I didn't even know that was going on. Twenty two mana. Just show me walking ballista. Show me something. Maybe they have walking ballista in hand. Because one walking bliss is in the yard already. I think they have another one in hand. Okay, well, we got dumpstered. Um, hey, shark. I don't want to rest in peace if they're going to be playing uh, cauldron times a million. I think I like Bowmasters, Force Negation is probably fine, Subtlety, maybe I can go down like one Shelly. I think Subtlety's good. At least probably not too good. At least more for the Zoo decks. Yeah, I control pilled myself also. Bowmaster doesn't seem terrible because it can snipe Vizier. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let me go down one force negation. Yeah, all it takes is one five o to make a horrible mistake. Go down to eight bow master. I don't think we want moonlight. Cause Gris gets around moonlight. I'm excited for the Jace. I think the Jace is gonna be cool. I don't know if it's gonna be good, but it should. Be, it's, I think it's gonna be fun to cheat out Valky again, just like the Tibbles trickery days. And the Cascade days. It might just be too slow and suck, but I'm excited for it. My hand is mediocre. In fact, I'm opening some mail right now, chat. And I was excited enough to cop my playset of Valkyries, so. I think I'm going to take any land here, even though it doesn't make white mana yet. I probably don't need to resolve this rest in peace for a little bit. Yeah, I got a full envelope in the mail this time. What a concept. I still have no idea what cards were just missing. I have to wait for like everything I ordered to come in, but I got a Valky. Yay, Valky! Devoted Druid. I him from TCG player. I don't think Valky really spiked per se. Spike. I think I'm gonna lose this devoted druid. Oh, this one came in like smushed. Oh, it has been going up. That's cool. I have my four copies of thought. Oh nope, two copies of Thoughtbound Phantasm. Tyvar. Yep, Tyvar. Tyvar gets a giver. Haywire Might. Uh, Haywire Might's fine. I think I'm going to snipe this Tyvar. So if I try to snipe the Haywire Might, the giver can give it protection. Appland Smoge. Force Negation. Yeah, Force Negation's probably fine. I think I'm gonna have to counterspell whatever finds Devoted Druid here. Or whatever finds Vizier here. And like, Damnation on Untap, probably. Yeah, Tyvar's ability makes it not summoning sick. Kind of messed up. Oh. Beauties. Okay, I got some Japanese RK post counterspells in the mail. I'm gonna get him signed as soon as I go to the next event that he's at. He's supposed to go to Apex Con at some point. Uh, this is the Ravnica Remastered. Rest in peace. Yeah, I think it's damnation time. Worse than the archive counterspell? Nah, I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Stop with the tie bars. This is far too many Tyvars. Devoted Druid Giver. Stern Scolding. I think Bowmaster's still really good. I know Spike's being a Bowmaster hater, but I'm a Bowmaster believer still. I still believe. Oh, well, hopefully Rest in Peace does something. Duskwatch Recruiter. Okay. Okay.
Save me ring. That didn't really save me. I am just some guy that lives in Cali. And confirm. I only have one sweeper. So I have to kill the rest of these things with just spot removal. Starting with this. Nah, I won't be back east for a few months. Probably not until like August. No. Sex cool. Really cool. But yeah, I think Yawgmoth is just better. How's Yogg in a blue zoo? Last challenge, I played against blue zoo twice, and I got absolutely dumpstered. It was not close. So, maybe not great. It's kind of a small sample size, though. Alright, find me something good. I owe to wear this Tyvar as well. And like force it on the way down. I don't know if it's really posing a threat though. I'm also not going to play Redundant Ring quite yet. I'm going to Oda War the Duskwatch and then find an answer in a little bit. I just don't want to die to something random off the top. Maybe I should have killed the Duskwatch, though. I don't know. It's kind of close. I think I can keep up with the card advantage from Duskwatch. Seem to find my Shelly. Find another Devoted Druid. Sound Tide Binder. Tide Binder is going to be good for combating Wrist. One, two, three, four. I think I'm going to play New Ring. If I play New Ring, I can just hold up Tide Binder. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of trying to do something interesting, or remotely interesting, anyways. Because we're kind of stuck in like this lull between sets. New set waiting room. Sure. Labyrintho, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Yeah, Scam is definitely creeping back up there. Scam's still good. Not great, but good. Dartisan. I'm at seven. Six. Out based. Paste. No, come back. One, two. Come back. Maybe Bowmaster's not good against them. I guess I could take the Hollowed Moonlights as an answer to whatchamacallit. Not a great answer, but it's a fine answer to Finale. But it doesn't do anything against Finale X3. 
They want second Shelly. Second Shelly might be good. They just start going on the beatdown plan like they did that game. Alright, chat. I decided to buy myself a little gift. One that would make Manguchi proud. The Dark Blood Moons, but Italian. Luna. Inseguinita. Or something like that. I could subtlety this. <laughs> Italian hands. Mangucci. Bush can stay on top. They were significantly cheaper in Italian. I, I think a lot of old cards are typically cheaper in Italian, right? Pitch Tev. Pitch Tev to serve them the tea. I'm gonna get Hollow Fountain here. There's a supply thing. Gotcha. Very excited to play these. Guess who's back? Back again. Tyvar's back. Return Halfling. Yeah, let's get Hollow Fountain. I feel like I should play Rest in Peace this turn. Even though it, like, significantly stunts my game plan for turn 4 because I drew the tower. But maybe I could have gone just playing the tower. But I feel like if I play the tower this turn, I'm probably going to have to just play Rest in Peace next turn anyways to prevent Tyvar from minusing. Wow, $11 versus 46 that's crazy. Yep. Well, I'm not dead yet. Yeah, I'm becoming an old border Andy. I'm actually becoming a foreign card Andy. I'm dead. I'll just concede. Just dead to the uh I feel like that was a pretty unconventional matchup. I hope Yogmoth doesn't go the same way. I played against his opponent yesterday. If I remember correctly, they were playing like mono red burn. Yeah, who's doing well in the uh modern super league? Nope, that's going to get pending. Nikachu 1, let's go! Fish represent. I think it probably been that. Kind of just like for land drops. He's probably played Merfolk in every event. Knowing him, 100%. Well, unluckily for our opponent, I think uh, our deck kind of destroys Burn. We're going to play the card Shieldred, and then they'll probably give up. I'm starting to think that that package that showed up like Eaton was supposed to contain uh, Blooming Marshes. I ordered the Doctor Who Blooming Marshes for my Yogg deck. I think that's what got Eaton. 
Yeah, I'm at 16. Play Shieldred. We're 01. Oh, I, I realize now the bot's down. We're 01. We uh, lost to. I'm blocking. I'm going to force their sliding bolt. Lost the devoted root combo. Yeah, half of an envelope showed up in the mail. There was no cards in it. Just half an envelope. Yeah, scam's still good. Get the text record up here. I didn't even realize the bot was down. Yeah, the mailman's just stealing cards from me. That should be sick. Now, my mailman's super dope. He's a homie. Um. Burn, 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 burn. No. I'll take that out, that out. Force negation's fine. Bowmaster's okay. Yeah, I think it's fun. Yeah, he knew I shouldn't play Yogg. He's like, don't do it, Dango. You're gonna regret it. Rips package in half. Don't play Yogg. Play blue red. Take your 48% win rate and be happy with it. At least pretty much just for the zoo matchup. It's just an additional way to answer Leyline Scion stuff. But yeah, it might suck. I wanted to test it out. Bobble. Yeah, blue-white's really cool right now, too. I think blue-black has potential as well, but Solitude might just be too good right now. Yogg is one of the most polarizing decks ever. It either looks unbeatable, or like a draft deck could beat it. Alright, your turn. They understood because they also play Magic, let's go. I love going through security at the airport, and they like pull my bag aside, and they're like, you play Magic? And I'd be like, yeah. And they're like, I play Magic too. And I'm like, oh, that's so sick. And they're like, you're good to go. You just got to remove these 500 lithium ion batteries in your bag. Wait, what? I'm at 12. I'm at 9. Survive. Yeah, somebody thinks they're Harry Potter over here. Trying to cast spells and shit. <laughs> I think we're in a pretty okay spot. I don't think I'm cycling this Lorian because I want to play Shieldred and then have Force Negation up. One of four is kind of scary though. Save me, Shelly. It needs to. They need two burn spells, right? Because they're not playing Boros Charm. So Ken's on. That's one, kinda. I'll count that as one. Goblin guy, that's fine. I mean, I can't do anything about it anyways. Yeah, we played against them yesterday. I think they're on the same burn list. I'm going to go back up to four. And then Teferi bounce the token back up to six.
Attack them past the fatal push. Dead to two burn spells. Well, luckily I have one card in hand, so I think we'll be okay. Maybe not. Skewers, me. Go back up to five. All right. One, one. We can make adjustments. Turn to a gristle brand. It always feels super broken when you get to do that. We haven't lost a game because of awkward mana. We lost a game because our opponent had like infinite recursive threats. Yeah, it's Fury it was or Scam was casting Fury with 20 lands and no cyclers. Scam was pretty chad. No, it looks like we're playing against Scam too. I don't think we've lost to mana issues yet. I just couldn't beat like the quintuple Tyvar plus devoted druid every single turn draw. Yet, yet, yet. We have many games to play still. They took Tef. Hi, Tef. Let's go Meticulous Archive. Try to surveil land on top. That's kind of like a land. I'll keep it. This one swamp might be, like, kind of sketchy. Maybe instead of the one swamp, we play like one planes to deal with Blood Moon. Oh, it's John Creativity. Opponent does nothing. I think I too will do nothing. Grab my Esper Charm at home? Yeah, you're right. Shit. Me Esper Charm. Hey, Thunder. Yeah. Night's going pretty okay so far, except for when I lost match number one. Ruined my day. Your first ever trophy was with Esper Charm. I love Esper Charm. Especially that one time I targeted myself with it and that I had to discard too. Good times. Tidebinder. Or, uh, I'm going to Tidebinder this Ren, I should say. Not Ren. Not Ren, anything but Ren. Please fetch beforehand. I feel like I still Tidebinder this Ren. Over Tidebindering the fetch. Probably gonna bolt me. I get the stifle that land drop though. Now the question is, do I hold up Bowmasters for creativity, or do I pending Ren and Six? I think I just pending Ren and Six and just die. No mana issues. No color of mana issues. But like I said, we could probably go up a land. Don't persist. Oh yeah, they might only have one blood crypt. So they couldn't even persist. It's funny. I counterspell. And yeah, they play one blood crypt for some reason. They play like two theaters, one blood crypt. In reality, I feel like it should be the opposite. Two Blood Crypt, one Theater. Surveil lands are good, but sometimes you really just need a second untapped Black Source. I have died. I have died. That's why two untapped Black Man is so important for them. Thought season to persist.
Save me, Bill Master. Nice, nah, need a top deck of land. Let me save me ring. I think you could probably do two of each. Two theater, two blood crypt. Ah, uh, tap land. Excellent. Right on time, Rafine's Tower. Right on time. Alright, what do we want against Jun Creativity? Rest in peace probably isn't too bad. Fatal pushes out. He dressed down Moonlight. I think I'm a prismatic ending for like Ren and Six. Subtlety's kind of poor. I think I can cut like two subtlety. Well, the beauty is we can fix the mana and then run it back. Bowmaster's actually pretty good against the Jun build because they're playing that two mana discard draw two. I think Dress Down's like a fine last resort. So I do have a lot of removal spells for Archon. Also, if it just buys me a turn to the point where I can, like, slam a ring, then draw into something later, it's probably decent. Yeah, we'll fix the mana and probably run it back after this league. I want to do a decent amount of testing with this deck. I think it's got potential. Yeah, I think I can cut the Triome and then play, like, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Cut the Triome and then just place more Surveil Land. Uh, three's probably enough Surveil Lands. Just more untapped lands at that point. Uh, that's the thought, Wes. So far, I wouldn't say it's felt any better. It felt kind of the same to me. I think our mana bases need some work. Scrab. Undercity. Kind of just looking for ring here. Subtle team. I don't think I want subtlety. I want a ring. That's a pretty good argument to leave up Force Negation Hardcast. Maybe I shouldn't have played Undercity Sewers that turn. Could have just played Island instead. Might cycle this dress down. Yeah, cycle this dress down. I also have Veil of Summer in this matchup, which is not super easy to beat. I can go fetch Dwarven Mine and sack the Dwarven Mine token. They decided not to. Right, ring time. Yeah, I was thinking about slotting in the Narset package as well into this list. I don't know what you played over. Maybe just like the random one ofs, like Tidebinder and Murktide. You can cut those two. You can cut like. Maybe a prismatic ending. A shield Rosita. Play three Narset, one day's undoing. 
problem is it ups the curve a lot to be playing like Narset plus Teferi without Solitude. Creativity X2. No Creativity X2. They do Creativity X2. I got a topic, another answer. Okay, well, um, I can only answer one of these. Very sad. Maybe I top deck an answer. So I can cycle hollowed moonlight, prevent this from flipping. I'm gonna edict one of them for sure. I'll upkeep cycle hollowed moonlight and see what we find. Prismatic ending. Not super helpful. My fable. I can bin land. I've been pending. I'm at seven. I'm gonna go to five. The fairy? One time? Is this reunion? Yeah. Merc Tat's looking pretty embarrassing. Come on to fairy. There's under no, nothing. He's so sad if they veil. Ah, uh, okay, I gotta counter this veil. A good one. I have to cycle this hollow moonlight because if they give this dwarf haste, I will die. I'll die to hasty dwarf plus ren and six ping plus one ring. Okay, counter to fable two. Okay, countered two fables. It's gonna be so tough to win from here. That was kind of the best Hollow Moonlight. That was kind of insane. So I play New Ring. That's happening for sure. Now, do I hold up counter spell? That's a rest in peace. Or I could just play giant merc tide. If I play giant merc tide, what could go wrong? Did you kill it? But I'm pretty sure rest in peace makes it lethal next turn. I guess play giant merc tide. And rest in peace will make it lethal. Merktide, I summon you. Win me the game. Maybe. I also can't get lightning bolted, which is nice. Can't get double bolted. All I gotta kill to fairy and then bolt me. At which point I'll just counter it. Picks up Ren. Yeah, I imagine it was a bad matchup for Ring. 
Funny how Ring does that. Turns your bad matchups into good matchups. They play an Archon here, they have died. Bye, Merc died. You're one of the good ones. I remember you. R.I.P. Merc Tidal Wave. By pending. No. Hmm. I'm going to have to pending Ren and Six. Just pass. Hold up Counterspell Bowmaster. Shield Res Edict. No, wait. What's done is done. No, I know they have two Fables with haste. I can edict one of them and then Bowmaster block the other. Then, like, I guess I could just Bowmaster block, block, if they just send in with both. And then hold up Counterspell. I think they're probably going to hard cast Archon. Yeah, I have another basic. I think I have one more basic island. I can do all three. Counterspell, Bow Edict. And I'll live at one life. Stressful game. Edict one of these, then they'll have one with haste. And I will bow it down. Block. And then we have counterspell for whatever follow up they have. As long as I didn't accidentally mill over my island somehow. Theater. I think they have an Archon in hand also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're one short of Archon. No, I'm saying left mana left over. They have seven. So they're one short of Archon. I think I have to counter this Ren. I'm alive. Somehow. I am dead to Lightning Bolt as it stands. But I mean, if I get to untap with Bowmaster, or sorry, if I get to untap with like Teferi, Bounce Archon. I can stifle it back on the way down. Yes. Archon's fine. I can also tie by into the ring. I don't think I'm going to activate the ring, though. So I'm playing another one. I think they have Lightning Bolt. I'm just... Oof. I got to take a draw with the ring. Please don't bolt me. Stop tanking to my upkeep. Fail of summer. Yes. Jelly ring.
that bounce archon that the cast veil is somewhere. Have to Shelly ring and hope for the best. Kind of an insane game. Hollow Moonlight MVP. Take your poison in the ring. They're just dead to me attacking them. Alright. Um close game. Very close game. That was game two. I think I'm a Merc tied out. I think a Null's bad against Jun creativity and it's better against five color. I think spreading seas. Try to mess with their mana a little bit. One of the dumbest games of all time. Yeah, kinda. I don't think I want Lily against the Renin 6 deck. Lily kinda gets invalidated pretty easily. Rest Town's kinda poor as well. I could just take the Spreading Seas. Hope to mess with their mana a little bit, maybe. Tigulous Archive. Yeah, we'll try it. Pretty land heavy. At least I don't die to him. Getting persisted super quickly. Rest in Peace is also pretty good against Ren and Six. They're just gonna like slam Ren and Six this next turn. Yeah, turn one. Surveil Archon. Turn two. Persist. GG. Hundred percent expecting to get fabled here. Why do we keep this hand? As Manguchi would say, lands and spells. Lands and spells. In lightning bolt dwarven mine. And there's lands and spells. It's a keep. Sacrifice and enchantment. Can I force this? Is that dumb? Is this bait? I'm gonna let it go. Might be bait. It's honestly really hard to tell. Because now they might just have Veil of Summer back up. Or whatever else they're casting. I kind of feel like they'd most definitely have another Pick Your Poison if they were so willing to spend that one on just Rest in Peace. I guess we'll see, though. Another one. We can only hope, Dial. Yep, another Pick Your Poison. That's really bad for me. One only has four minutes left also. And no solitude, no leyline binding. We're mostly just blue black splashing to fairy. Kill this dwarf token, and I'm gonna double block here.
If I leave the Billmaster alive, Ren's just gonna ping it anyways. I ain't gonna let that go, sadly. Kind of fine. Yeah, they have one card in hand. Four mana removal spell on this is... It could be worse. It could be worse. On. In the early access event, I didn't get divided. Said no dingoes allowed. Yeah, it's because of the incident. We don't speak of the incident. I bet even Steve got invited. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Can't believe they invite Steve and not me. We don't speak of the incident. The incident's me dying to four power in play. Plus this random six minusing. Ah, uh, so sad. Dead next turn. Top deck. I mean, it's not terrible. Need Shelly, need Ring. Need something. Go to four. Go to three. They were supposed to keep that type binder on top. Stifle the Ren and Six. Let's have an Archon. That's tough. That's really tough. We weren't getting there. It's still good. And so is that sub, SOXO. I appreciate the six months. Welcome back. Burn? Alright, we beat Burn once already. Surely we can beat Burn again. Burning is not very good against Burn, though. I don't think I want the bow boy. Don't have Twitter, dang. Sucks. Free to make a Twitter though. Make like a burner account. Hi, Krista. I miss MTG bot. Yo, Kramer, thank you for the follow. Thanks for being my 9,100th follower. We did it. I wish I had like a little party popper. Oh, somebody just unfollowed. Never mind. Reverse party popper. Mappy. Mappy from Mappy. This is deck for farming amulet. It's pretty good against amulet, I think. Unparties your popper. <laughs> no more celebrating. Up oh, surveil bug. Bin bowmaster. Draw bowmaster. Stifle your fetch. Hey, I'm stifling over you. It's 
stifling did not go very well. I don't even think I want to play ring. I just feel like I'd pass. The well, ring accelerates me to shield rid, so like maybe. Oh, I'm definitely going to play ring now that they played rift bolt. Hard counter. Counter target Rift Bolt. Joblin Jidem. Just remembered your question. What is it, Janini? How are you? I'm well. Finally, somebody says, Hey, Dingo, how are you? And not, Hey, Dingo, Rift Bolt you. Thank you for asking, Janini. Hey, Dingo, Rift Bolt you. <laughs> that feel when giant hole of water in the floor. Yeah, I am doing well. Played around my Bolt Master, why I auto. Why I auto. I guess they were scared of Bowman. The Swifty on the bottom. I don't think I'm ever cracking this fetch. And Dingo, serve your team. I think now's the time to hard cast Lorian. Probably going to try to avoid fetching. To the best of my abilities. I wish I had one more color so I could penny my own ring. Not being able to penny my own ring, Dej. At least they're on a two turn clock. And exactly bolt Boros Charm. Bolt Subtlety. Oh, you're down to one, so they have two mana left. They can't use this. They need to draw basic. Nah, they can't kill me. The jankiest deck of all time. Okay, maybe they can kill me. Never mind. Just a one short. What's the jankiest deck of all time? I know a lot of those. I played a lot of them. I take out ring. I can just take out ring. They bring in dress down. I think Ring's pretty poor. I guess Lily's fine, too. I could just take out Ring completely, bring in Lily. Amulet Storm. Why? Yeah, when's the new set on Moto? Still don't know. Hey, Stream Daddy. Thank you for being the 9,100th follower. Tuesday? What's today? Wednesday? 
April 16th. Okay, Tuesday, April 16th. Got it. Had no idea. Did they just play a commercial district in Bern? Is my opponent based? Seventeen. New Lorians. And an elegant parlor. Oh, they're surveilling so much. I'm so jealous. Or they're sculpting the perfect hand. I think I'd rather force negation. Subtle team. All right, land waiting room. We're getting the two three decks out of our system. We'll three two. We'll three two. Trust, trust, trust. Just needs time to cook. And draw my fourth land. Oros charm protect my Swiss spear. Oh, lightning helix me. I think early access is going on right now for arena. But only for arena? Question mark. I don't know. I don't know. I'm out of loop. Please don't kill me, I'll die. Double bolt children. Eferino. Okay, I just need to slam a subtlety in block. Liana. Liana's kind of embarrassing here. Plus one card. Sick. Go, Lily, go. Go, Lily, go. Discarded Destructive Revelry. I have Pending for the next Haste Threat that they have. I just kind of have to dodge them drawing Burn Spells. In their Burn deck with Burn cards. Another Revelry. I don't know why they brought it in, given that my only artifact in Shamu was the ring. I think they have died. They were scared of Leilana Sanctity. Maybe. They discarded three destructive revelries. Classic. Classic. I 
I'm at one. Hey. Imagine how dead it would be if they drew anything relevant. Prediction time. Chat. I feel like Spikes made something similar to this. On top of Ring. Ring is good. Edge Maze. Bin's Forest. Needs more rings. Yeah, Ring is probably pretty good, right? Balaji. Emirate, Cosmic Rebirth, Prismatic Ending. Takes Ephemerate. I don't know what's going on over there. Hi, Ants. What are you doing, opponent? You win. You with time walk? It's a 3 2 off. We're battling it out for mediocrity. Do they play counterspell? Oh. Three of ephemerate, you would. Takes another ephemerate. Hey, you can for sure send links. Takes abundant growth. Archer. Well, now that I know what they're doing, I guess I should probably just leave up Subtlety or Counterspell, or both. Bant Rebirth, 3 e wave, 4 Solitude, 4 Pending, 3 Time Warp, 4 Counterspell, 1 Reprieve, 3 Force Negation. It's all good to know. No rings, huh? Just e wit Ephemerate. I've been finding nothing but ephemerates off these archaeologists. It's all ephemerate and Narset. I don't see Narset in the main deck of this list. I see one in the sideboard. Might be a little bit different of a list. Jachaches. Jachaches is going to be sweet. Abundant Harvest. They're popping off right now. They have eight cards in hand. Soul Herder, maybe? Ah, uh, Narset. Kinda of scared to tap out for this ring. I feel like I might die. Oh, you know what they say. If I die, I die. Been thinking of draw for surveil. Uh huh. I think that card's correct. I definitely think you want to play it. Because even just going like breach, bobble, bobble, bobble a few times, you're just making a massive army.
think I subtlety this. I mean, even when you can breach, it's like not very hard to cast two spells in this turn. Time for Scrabbling Claws. Put Teferi on top. Okay. Solitude Pitching Reprieve. Okay. Bye bye, subtlety. Cards. That's pretty good. S. Are they going to rebound on the solitude? Okay. I have so many cards. Yeah, one copy of Reliquary Tower. Cooking, Mason. Cooking. And hey, when are you going to be racing Clark? When are we thrown down in the Thunderdome? I gave up. After the SCG? What is that? Speak to me like I'm not a paper grinder. This weekend? Say less. I don't even know what I want against them. The new player kit's live. Let's go. You can play Modern Infect now. Finally. A reason to exist. I think I'm just going to cut all the Fatal Pushes. I don't know if they fixed the sideboard of the Infect deck, but I heard that the Infect deck had Warping Whales in the sideboard or something like that. It had some, like, colorless only card. I think it was Warping Whale. I guess Moonlight's pretty good. I don't know about Lily. Double rest in peace seems fine too. I don't want to do a prediction of how many days it's going to take for us to run into that modern infect deck. Hey, Popkins. I think I'm just going to play rest in peace. This is my attempt at Esper control. Done poorly. Jefferino. Counter Teferino. Negation Smoge. Yep. So I'm just gonna cycle this. That's pretty good. I know. Yeah, that blue eye list is sweet. A force negation? Oh no. I'm prismatic ending. And another Tef. Giving away two ticket Vela Summer. Isn't Vela Summer like six? I think it's like six bucks in paper. Last time I looked. I was like, wow, I don't remember it being that expensive. Yeah, you probably have to mess with the mana base a little bit if you're going to change the Triomes. I haven't looked at it since then. Time more. And warp done. Casting my own Teferi here was a mistake. 
standard decks are five hundred dollars. Isn't the good majority of the price just Shieldred? Because Shieldred's like ninety bucks still. I don't think we're winning this game. What's expensive in standard? Besides Shelly? Standard. Tabletop. Esper 500. Demir 500. Teamer. Oros Convokes 250. What's expensive? Tabletop. Oh, Cavern of Souls. Yeah, that makes sense. Cavern of Souls are like 30 bucks a piece. Let's see what else is expensive in standard. Mono Red's 90 bucks, Domain's 500, but that's because like Atroxa, Golgari. Oh, yeah, that. They play multiple Shieldreds. Yeah, that's tough. Seems like it's mostly just Shieldred. A lot of these decks are just jamming multiple Shieldreds. Would like to draw... One copy of the hit Lord of the Rings card, the One Ring. It's the worst mid-range deck, but it's mine. Wes, you're just a sucker for mediocre green-black decks, huh? You and me both, dog. You and me both. That man land, the haunted house, is so sick. I don't actually remember what it's called. Restless Cottage. Angry House. Those have to go when the Assassin's Creed set comes out. Is there Assassin's Creed Rest in Peace? Hold up. I know the Assassin's Creed Temporal Trespass is like Musk Up. I don't see any. There's the Outlaws at Thunder Junction one, though. Yeah, Gliss is sweet, too. Agreed. Oh, it's got a lot of lands over there. That's true. There does need to be a rest in peace in the Assassin's Creed set. It only makes sense. Um... Find me a copy of the One Ring. Waiting for server. Wouldn't solitude me now, would you? No, they didn't. I like the Thunder Junction. Rest in peace also. Just like an orbital laser. A WWE set. And now, bring in the pain. And I finally killed this Teferi. It's been causing me so many problems. No solitude, no solitude, no solitude. Aww. The fairy, why? I'm such an Assassin's Creed nerd that, like, that set's targeted at me. A hundred percent.
I lose. Alright, maybe I need this other shield or Z-Dick just to deal with the fairy. Take the lilies, take the hollow moonlights. I don't know what's bad here. I guess the edict isn't that good. I did play one of the terrible, like, mobile games. Yeah, sure. You're right, J-Dub. You're so right. You remember this? The Brotherhood premiere trailer? Of course. It was so hype. And there was like the literal trailer that followed also. Mysterious hooded man watches from a distance. That's not how you tap for rest in peace. Very Lily. Actually, Damn would, is probably better than Damnation. You're right. Sure, it's gonna get countered. Least no counter. I will be sad if counter. Oh, no counter. I eat with. This card's wind swept teeth. Lily in the board. Go, Lily. Go, Lily. Go. It's been a minute since I've seen Lily on the Veil take over a game. Playing its Bant taking turns with the Eternal Witness Ephemerate Loop. Um, I think I misspelled the mana base of this deck, but also Blue White's probably just better. I think it's a better ring deck. Shieldred's good. Bowmaster's good. But I don't know if it's better than blue white. Not more. Yeah, I guess I don't really care if they cast Explorer. Jabor pumping his fists. Jabor's so excited right now. Blood letter combo with Rush of Dread. I don't know what any of these words mean. Blood letter combo. Are these new cards? I didn't study. Blood letter. I rest in peace. It's twin. How much mana is twin, though? Need more specifics. Specifications about said twin. Three black, black, to spree. Blood letters, four CMC, so you curve out four or five, they die. Seems a little expensive. Both from sorceries. Do they do anything else? Holy pithing needle. Unreal. Lily, no! Time to lose to Teferi.
don't know, maybe in Pioneer. 4 5 is pretty good in Pioneer. Creature 2 4 Flyer says when an opponent loses life during their turn, they lose that twice that much life. So many needles, please. Now I'm going to name the One Ring. The One Ring. Pending. Wait, did I board out pending? I boarded out pending. This displeases the dingo. Also vampire. Probably pioneer then. I think we have died. Bonnet Harvest. Yeah, it's Counterspell. The one paperweight. I don't know if I have answers to these needles. I guess Teferi. I've drawn oops all counter spells. Maybe they have nothing. Cosmic rebirth back to fairy. Uh. Edge. Oh, Mike, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Yeah, I'm very dead. These pithy needles were insane. Because I boarded out prismatic ending. Thinking I didn't want to pay 3 mana to exile at the ferry. We're still attacking Lily. One bing bong of sadness. Bant confirmed better than Esper. Yeah, what do you want to play next? I want to make a pull. As our opponent slowly destroys us this game. What next? Scam. Because scam is everywhere, and I guess we should probably play scam again. Abzan. Yogmoth. Um. Blue white control. Fix. Let's go blue black control. Or blue red surveil. Make it five minutes, chat. I'm gonna cast. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was really hoping they would counter it because I don't get to draw any cards off of this. I wanted to see if I could bait counter spell because I'm doing nothing else with my turn. What's the white foreign yog? It's for um the two mana blood artist, black white creature. Find it. Is this it? Yeah. The Statistic Pilgrim. It's a two mana blood artist. That's a 2 2 with Death Touch. Just so that way your blood artist dies to less. Yeah, it's Cast Bolt Halfling, which is also a bonus. This is so over. The edge. Get out the haters. The doubters. Esper control. Confirmed not busted. Try our best though. I think this list definitely needs more lands. Probably go up to like 22 lands. I don't know. Prismatic any was... Kind of meh. In a three color deck. Sometimes I wanted it on four. I just didn't have the mana to put it on four. I think I would fix up the mana base a little bit. Cut this for Fiend's Tower. Play some more untapped lands.
and go from there. All right, chat. I'll put the pull up. Gonna get up, stretch. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>